Okay, I see a lot of people want uh, visors for their gauges. This is my Carmel, and I probably don't have as bad a problem as others since mine's a short windshield. If you got a full windshield, it probably reflects off of it into your eyes. So we just come out here and take some measurements of all these gauges, basically. Transfer those measurements onto this sheet of paper, and then we're gonna go in and see if we can design it in on shape. Okay, we're bringing it into the office. We're gonna transfer these size shapes over here into on shape. On shape's a free online CAD software. Uh, if you're using the free version, the files you create are public, so you'll be able to access this file I make. All right, let's see, we're building a gauge visor in process for the main gauge. All right, so we just did some Boolean operations to subtract a part from it. Uh, then we applied some radiuses here to this curve, and I think that looks pretty close to what we're going to need. May end up have to split it at the bottom so that it could put a little adhesive tape around the edge and put it around the gauge easily. All right, so I did a thing here where I created the three different sizes. This is just for my test run. I actually just scaled the larger one down by percentages to see if I could make it match. See how they're gonna fit like this. That did make them thinner as well as they got smaller. I don't know if I'll like that. I'll check it out. May have to design each one in on shape. All right, there's the gauge visors being printed in PET G. That filament is uh, more resistant to heat, so it should work well in the car. First batch is done. Pop loose there. There's our rings. Look pretty nice, clean. All right. We have to go give those a try. All right. There they are, the three sizes. Um, I had the seam put down there, the seam line, so it won't be seen. Hopefully, this will fit on the gauges. If they don't, we can always split it and put it on there. Here's the gauges without visors. And these visors are going to go on here, something like that. All right, just presses on. Looks like it's time to print the other two because those fit really well and look pretty awesome. Okay, the small one was just a little bit tight fitting on. I took the heat gun to the bottom of it, heated it up, and then pressed it right over. I printed the last two visors for the gauges, and they are all installed. Uh, the small one took a little effort to push on, it seemed like, but it went on this time. Last night, I actually heated the other one a little bit and put it on but they all slid over pretty securely. I'm just gonna try and drive around with them on like that, see what happens when it sets out in the sun. They may require some double-sided tape or something to help keep them stuck in place. I think they look great. You see that each one protrudes out a little bit more going towards the center and then they come back in. So these fit snugly and look like they're gonna work well. They have not been extensively tested, so use at your own risk. Um, good luck with them. Thanks for watching this video. You can get that uh, print file, the STL, over at printables.com, or if you have a bamboo printer, you can go to uh, Maker World and get it on there. I will put them up in both places. It will be free. You're welcome to use it for your own use. You're welcome to use it for commercial purposes to print and sell to others. Whatever you'd like, just know that it's free to everyone. And I hope you enjoy it. Please uh, give this channel a thumbs up. Like and subscribe as I will be creating more content for the Vanderhall.